Welcome to Texas Yard Makeover, Weekend Edition. One of our favorite ways to save water and create a great looking yard is to use native plants featuring pollinator plants that attract hummingbirds and butterflies. In this video, we'll show you how to plant out a pollinator garden, look at some popular native plants, and walk you through how to get them in the ground and growing. Let's plant native. Today, we're at Texas Discovery Gardens talking with Sam, an urban wildlife biologist with the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department, an expert on native plants that attract our little pollinator friends. North Texas, heat of summer, why are these a good idea? Once you establish these plants, they don't need a lot of water. I like that. And they don't need a lot of water to flourish okay. and to thrive. Once you get them established in your landscape, mm -hmm. they will last year after year after year. Low maintenance. Yes. <clears throat> like that. Grundy, take a look at this one. Yes. This is a magnificent plant. This is autumn sage, it salvia gregei. Yeah. Doesn't that smell? Oh. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. It is fantastic. This one is flourishing. Yeah. This has been in the ground for a while. It is established. Mm -hmm. You know, when you buy a native plant, it may be kind of small in yeah, a pot. Yeah, a little guy. Yeah, kind of a dinky mm -hmm. little yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. We like to say the first year that you put them in, mm -hmm. the first year they sleep. Okay. The second year they creep. Okay. The third year they leap. This is and leap year. This is leap year. Yeah. <laughs> this is leap year, and we are enjoying the benefits wow. of this. Wow. This no yeah. longer needs a lot of water. Now, where do I get these? So each one of these plants has its own natural history. It's got its own little stories to tell. So doing some of the research about what kind of plants you could use mm -hmm. in your areas, many nurseries will sell these, places that specialize in native plants. Gotcha. When we look at the tag of these, we can sometimes get some more information. Get the name of it, mm -hmm. get where it lives, if it's perennial, if it's gotcha. annual. Mm -hmm. When you put plants into your landscaping, these native plants, these water conservation plants, not only are you good, doing a good thing for your water bill, mm -hmm. you're doing a good thing for all the pollinators. Love it. Great advice, Sam. So how do you create your own pollinator garden? First, find a spot in your yard. Use the rule of thirds and design for one third usable grass, one third hard surfaces like stepping stones, and one third landscape beds like a pollinator garden. Check the area to see how much sun it gets. Full sun is great and a little shade is okay too. Plan your garden with a simple design and a list of native plants proven to thrive in our climate. Check out the Texas Yard Makeover Weekend Project resources at waterisawesome.com to get started. Now with your plan in hand, time to go to a local nursery that specializes in native plants. Read the tags and talk with the experts. Make sure the plants you choose match up with the amount of sun your pollinator garden will get. You can choose from perennials or annuals, plants that bloom at different heights or during different times of the year, deciduous or evergreen. Native plants give you a wide variety of choices. Also, follow these best practices for success. Add compost to your soil. It provides nutrients and helps hold water. Space your plants apart according to their full grown shape. Dig the hole about twice as wide as the pot itself and don't plant them too low. Be sure to hand water to get them going or program the new drip system as needed for summer. Once established, native pollinator plants will only need a little water if it hasn't rained in a week or two. A layer of hardwood mulch is always a good way to finish the project. You'll be amazed at how soon butterflies and hummingbirds find your new garden, and it will need very little water to thrive. Want to learn more? Visit Texas Yard Makeover at waterisawesome.com for more episodes and resources to help you with your next project. With native plants and pollinators, the possibilities are endless. They save water, and come on, is there anything better than a yard filled with flowers, butterflies, and hummingbirds? So what are you doing next weekend? 